I'm Tony Haynes, and this, well, that's a familiar face, yeah, Des Kitchings, who just finished up his first year as a running backs coach at NC State, and he will continue to be the running backs coach So with the Wolfpack. So you've been here for one full season, Correct. had an opportunity to be a part of the NC State family. What's, what's it been like for you? I tell you, it's been great. Uh, from the fans to the support staff to the Raleigh community, my family and I have thoroughly enjoyed mm -hmm. the Wolfpack. Reflect back on the first season for us. I tell you what, you know, obviously we had some highs and lows, but it was plenty of highs to go around. You know, from the first time I experienced a game here in Carter Finley, and um, very, very good environment. Um, rivaled some of the SEC environments I've, I've coached in previously. And then to have that mm -hmm. great home win against Florida State. So it's been some great mm -hmm. memories. You know, I think uh, one of your players is a great story, Shadrack Thornton. Yeah. We saw him back in preseason drills. He was running hard in the scrimmages, yeah. but at that point, I don't know, I think he was number five on the depth chart or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. And he's a true freshman, yeah. and here he is. Uh, he's really evolved into a, a terrific young tailback. Mm -hmm. uh, your thoughts about how far he's come over the course of the season? Well, like you say, he, he has some talent. Um, that's one, and he works hard on a mm -hmm. daily basis. So coming out of camp, he's shown a lot of talents that he had that we could utilize, but again, we had other guys ahead of him. So at that time, we thought it was in his best interest and our best interest to uh, redshirt him. But then as the season went on and guys got injured and different things uh, took place, he showed up in the lineup. Mm -hmm. And when he got in, he took advantage of his opportunities. Mm -hmm. And he continued to progress throughout the season. Uh, one thing I will commend him on is he was able to take the meeting room to the practice field, mm -hmm. the practice field to the game field. So now we've seen him just take strides and, and have some success. Then uh, he brings donuts to the offensive lineman. That's yeah, he has done move, that. Right? Yeah, right? He yeah. has done that. So, yeah. Did it help him, too, to have some veteran running backs in front of him? Guys it like did. Brandon Barnes and Tony Creasy. Yeah, and those guys were great. You know, they were great in the meeting room. They were great on the practice field with him. They were great in the hotels on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. Just continuously, you know, giving them information about this is what you expect to see mm -hmm. and uh, those type of things. So it helped him. Your impressions of Coach Doran, mm -hmm. you, know, you had a chance to get to know him and meet him. Yeah. Coach Doran and I have had a chance to spend some time together, you know, uh, flying down to the Shrine Bowl luncheon and spend a couple hours mm -hmm. together, and uh, I, I like him. And I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to his leadership and, and taking this program ahead. Well, you're from South Carolina. How about that football background in, in South Carolina? Tell us about that. Well, you know, not only South Carolina, but North Carolina, between mm -hmm. the two states, it's uh, some tremendous football. Um, guys, it's, it's a profitable thing. You know, it's, it's Friday nights, small communities mm -hmm. where everyone's involved. Young men grow up, you know, want to play for the high school, you know, dreaming of playing in the ACC for different universities. So that all lends to a good mm -hmm. feeding ground mm -hmm. for us. You saw glimpses this year. Mm -hmm. and you mentioned the Florida State game, yes. uh, beating the Seminoles here yeah. at Carter Finley Stadium mm -hmm. on that, that magical night, 17 to 16. Coach Doran wants to get NC State to a championship level. Yeah. How close is the Wolf back to that level? We're close, you know, and we've been close. Uh, one thing ab about it, the program has taken strides, and uh, we have some good play players in place, but we got to add to that, um, that foundation and just keep working forward. Des Kitchings here, running backs coach at NC State.